welcome to Tuesday the 5th, <laughs> 5th of May, uh, Craft and Chat. I'm Amanda Fowler. I'm just going to check that I'm live or where I'm supposed to be. Yeah, looks like it's all working. Awesome. So thank you very much for joining me today. If you are, oh, apart from the sound, okay no sound now so if you're here can you leave me a comment or put some hearts up or something like that so I know you are here um, oh Sally's here Michelle's here my mum's here hi mum <laughs> Faye's here Amanda's here happy Tuesday yes we like Tuesdays and Julie is here and Roz is here okay so thank you Thank you very much. I'm going to grab my coffee. Um, <laughs> this is my third cup of coffee today. I'm only allowed three cups of coffee. Um, so if I'm drinking it at two o'clock in the afternoon, it's been a stressful morning. So how is everyone doing today? And then I'll tell you about my all my stress. Well, it's not in the big scheme of things. It's not big stress, but you know, it was a bit stressful this morning. <laughs> Sarah's here from France. Sue's here. Sue, did you get my um, email about the website and stuff? Did it make sense? If not, I can always give you a call later. Um, Anne's here as well. Debbie's here. Fabulous. Okay, so has anyone got anything new to tell me? Last week we were talking about haircuts. Brian cut my hair. To be fair... <laughs> Brian cut this bit and this bit and I did this bit <laughs> um, with thanking Michelle for the thinning scissors because that really helped um, wasn't brave enough to let him have a go with the clippers um, that might have been a bit of a disaster I do like my hair short but it would have been very short not ready for that um, yeah, the boy done good. He did. He did. Um, I used the clippers on his hair though, so that was, that was pretty cool. That was easy though. You just go and it's and it's done. Pat! Hello, Pat! Nice to see you, Pat. Okay, so has everyone got a beverage? Sat comfy? I have got some crafting for you, obviously. Um, I'm gonna have a slurp of my coffee. Um, so, so the weekend was a bit busy, um, I was getting all the craft along kits packed, um, and so a lot of them could go out today. Um, so it wasn't kind of a restful weekend like it is normally, um, and yesterday I ended up with a splitting headache, so very little work actually got achieved yesterday so I knew this morning I had a lot of work to do so I had all the kits to get to the post office and that means going outside and we go outside every day we go and walk the dog every day but like outside where the people are <laughs> and I'm such a social person really but I don't like going where the people are is anyone else feeling like that? It's really odd. What's going to happen when we're out of lockdown and we can go out again? Um, so I went to the post office, um, the sorting office, to because I've got a business account. So I take my sacks of post. So that was okay. Um, but Asda was all a bit of a nightmare. Little was worse. Um, and then I went to the little shop to take a few more parcels um, to the like the actual post office because they had to go a different way and people were just kind of leaning over one another and stuff. Very odd. Um, so I'm just I'm just reading reading the messages. Anne says she's got a fringe in desperate need. Yeah, I, do you know what, Anne? I just go for it. <laughs> um, what I, 
<laughs> what I do with my fringe, can you see how it's all bitty? Is I get my scissors, actually, I'll get, I'll get my big scissors, I won't do it. But I don't cut across like that with my fringe. I cut like this. Like snipping it up. And then it's all jaggedy. And then nobody can tell that it's not straight. Because if I try to do it straight, it would yeah, be all wiggly. <sighs> so, um, Marion's here from Wild and Windy Perth. In Western Australia, yeah, um, it's it's a bit cold and blustery today. Um, last few days we've had the fire on. Yeah, Brian Brian likes to switch the the central heating off. It's May, so you know the heating really should be off. But <laughs> I have the I have the fire on in my office, and then I have the big fire on in the front room. I'm not sure it's actually saving anything, but um, but you know it's it's all good. So, Amanda and Ros say they're feeling the same as me going in the outside. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's silly. I think, I think it's, it, different people have different perspectives about um, this virus and what it can do and, and so on. And I think um, that some people just think it actually it doesn't matter. Um, but, yeah tricky so that's why I don't like going in the outside <laughs> but um, I was talking to the team I don't know I might have said this last week to you um, and if I have I apologize um, but I, I did say we're all in uh, so it's it, it's a quote that basically says we're all in the same storm but we're not in the same boat so you know this this pandemic is affecting everybody but how it's affecting us all is very different so some people might be in boats that are like well stocked and you know they've got good sales and everything else other people are in like a rubber dinghy and some people are in a boat where they can't for the life of them work out where the water's coming in from um so we, and we're all dealing with it very differently so whether you're dealing with it in a happy in a in a happy way or uh hiding under your duvet or working really hard it actually it doesn't matter how we're dealing with it but we are dealing with it and actually i don't know about you guys but i could probably do all three of those things in one day um so yeah it's kind of weird isn't it um <laughs> sue's just said there's a new name for the people that lean over you and crowd your social distancing space covid idiots yeah I, like i said people just just um aren't just aren't aware i think they're not they're not aware of of their spacing Um, Sally's cutting her own fringe. It's not perfect, but at least she can see out. You see, that's kind of important. Um, <laughs> Chris said she, her heating was off for the last two weeks, but it's back on again. Yeah, exactly. So it's, it is a bit chilly. So Lucy Ann's here and Claire's here. Um, and Julia's agreeing as well because it's going to be scary when we're, we're let out again. Although, actually, I don't think it's going to be that soon, to be fair. So anyway, so I was telling you about my my stressful day. So I had all this outside stuff to do. But before going outside, I had to place my pre-order, which um, as a demonstrator, one of one of the perks of being a demonstrator is we get to see the catalogues a month before they're due to be released. So we saw the catalogue that's releasing um, at the beginning of June last week and today we could pre-order from that catalogue which is um, amazing we can't pre-order everything but we could pre-order some really good stuff and I'm very excited about the stuff that's coming but I've been waiting for an update about shipping and for those of you that have placed orders recently you may be wondering where your order is well we knew that there had been a problem in the warehouse um, 
but not the extent of it. So basically there was some kind of electrical fault in the warehouse which then caused a fire which meant that some of the equipment has been damaged and of course the warehouse is the warehouse is in Germany for us in Europe and of course with all the social distancing things going on um, they can't draft in extra staff and obviously they've had to wait for stuff to be repaired so it's all a bit of a nightmare really um, and it's made things are really really slow so I have emailed out um, to all my customers this morning to let you know anything up until the 24th of April has shipped um, but nothing since then um, things I'm expecting shipping to take about uh, not shipping but from ordering to when it ships to take two weeks and then another five to seven days um, for actual shipping. Um, I am keeping a close eye on it. Um, Stamping Up are obviously doing all they can to get it sorted out, but the reality is that with everything that's going on in the world, things are just gonna slow down. Um, so kind of bear with us. Um, if, if supplies are getting low, which yeah, I'm, my supplies are getting low too, um, make sure you just place your order as soon as you can as opposed to kind of thinking oh yeah I'll be here next week because um, things just aren't moving very quickly and it's probably going to take them a few weeks to kind of get on top of everything. Uh, do, 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 do. Right, Sarah I don't understand what you're saying, you said May not sure um what sure that means marion's saying pre-order is very exciting it is very exciting um yeah so so that's kind of that's been my stressful morning really because um sorting out all the emails and stuff to the team and everyone and finding out what's going on um so yeah it's been a kind of a weird a weird morning and then i was thinking right better better get ready Better get ready for my Facebook Live. And um, then the printer wasn't working. <laughs> Which, you know, it's always the way because I have printed things I need to show you today. Um, but, you know, I wiggled it and jiggled it and then got it working again. So, so I fixed that too. Hence, I'm on my third cup of coffee today. Oh, it was a typo. <laughs> That's fine. That's... That's fine, Sarah. I was just checking that there wasn't anything going on that I didn't know about. Right. So, has anyone got anything to share? Has anybody been making stuff? Um, we did talk about, what did we talk about last week? We were talking about organising and sorting things out. Has anyone done any clearing out? Um, or any crafting? It doesn't have to be paper crafting. Tell me what you've been making and doing. Then I have to wait because the comments take a minute or two <laughs> to catch up. So I ask you a question and then I have to sit here and drink my coffee. Yeah, I'll do that. Oh, yes. And because I wasn't feeling great yesterday, so there was no blog post yesterday on Monday either. Um, so I'm going to kind of see how, how that pans out through the rest of the week. Sue says she alphabetized the spice rack. Was that, did that make you happy, Sue? Because alphabetizing anything is enough to send me into a flat spin. Um, so, yeah, yeah. Brian gets really cross <laughs> because I, when I'm filing paperwork, um, you know, bills, that kind of stuff, I just kind of file them in my system. So he then goes looking for stuff and he can't find anything. So maybe learning to alphabetize it is, is good. Um, <laughs> Sue's laughing at me. But did it make you happy, Sue? I want to know. Um, Sarah sorted out her ink pads. Yeah, I, yeah, we, we chatted about that. 
that's really really cool um talking about ink pa i haven't actually got an ink pad here um whenever i get the opportunity to talk about ink pads um i want to remind people that on the bottom of the ink pad are stickers and those stickers go on the front and on the inside and sometimes i don't tell people <laughs> and they don't know that there are stickers there so there are stickers underneath when you take the cello off um, Claire is knitting squares so um, Claire works for Jules have you noticed Claire noticed my top um, so why <laughs> why are Jules asking their staff to knit squares Julie is making VE day bunting yeah VE day on Friday so bank holiday on Friday is all a bit strange bank holidays are mondays but obviously not this year friday um faye's lost her crafting bug um so watching for inspiration hopefully faye i will have a bit of inspiration for you later oh sarah's organized her embossing folders as well okay so claire says they're collecting uh jewels are collecting squares for blankets for their charity Oh, Marion says it's Mother's Day this Sunday. So she made cards for her mum and her mother-in-law. So, yeah, because um, Mother's Day in the UK is in March. So that always confuses us. <laughs> Chris is still shredding for the world. Ros is making VD Day poster for the window. Pam's sorting out her loft. Oh. That's a good job to be doing. Claire's not knitted for years. <laughs> and Sally wants to alphabetise her spice rack too. <laughs> Amanda says, when will we see the new catalogue? We need cheering up. I know, that's how I felt. Um, <laughs> it's in the other room. I can't show it you. Um, I can show you the front cover, but that's not going to help you, really. Um, I have ordered them <laughs> and as soon as they get into my hands I will be sending them out. Um, I'm trying not to think about whether or not that's going to be before go live on the 3rd of June. The reality is um, I want to get them to you for the 3rd of June but I'm not sure that I will be able to. So. Um, the 3rd of June you will definitely be able to look at a PDF version of the catalogue if you haven't got one in your hands at that point. But it's amazing. Absolutely best catalogue we've had in years. Really excited. Loads of stuff. I'm going to be bankrupt. But, you know, it's the new catalogue. Um... Annie's here. Hi Annie, how are you? How are your two gorgeous little boys? Um, and Rose is here and Janice is here. <laughs> and Pam says she's seen a spider and she's finished clearing out a loft. Yeah, <laughs> well done Marion. Um, yeah, so Amanda, Marion's telling you that you need to join my team so you can you can see the new catalogue and that's actually that goes for anyone <laughs> who is is here in, in Europe um yeah if you join right now not only can you pick new stuff for your starter kit but you can actually see the whole of the new catalogue so it's a perk of joining are the joining incentives in the new catalogue um no more than normal so um a hundred and it's so 130 pounds Sarah I'm gonna have to guess the euros Ooh, I think it's 175 euros um, and but so if I do it in pounds and I'll I'll put it in the notes later um, so it's 130 pounds 99 for 130 pounds worth of product for 99 pounds no postage you can pick from the pre-order list um what else um you have till where are we now may 
June, April, May, June, July, August. So you have till the end of September to meet your first quarterly minimum. Um, and obviously we'll have had a second catalogue by then because we'll have the autumn winter catalogue as well. So great, it is a really great time to join, particularly because you're going to get your hands on new products. Um, so if it's something that anybody's interested in, send me a message and I'll give you a call or we can chat over email um, and, and sort it out. But I say this all the time, I don't understand why I have customers because I think you should all join. Um, the deal, it, it's a great deal. You get discount on all your products, you get to see everything first and you get to hang out with me and the rest of the team and the stamping up team and you know it's 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 great and it doesn't matter if you want to just buy for your own use and, and get a discount or you want to build a business either you do what is best for you okay right other than spending money yeah but you know we all we all need to spend money ha yay you see one of the awesome things about my awesome team is <laughs> when i don't know the answer they know the answer sally um is joining in euros it's 129 euros and you get 175 euros of products tax problems yeah we don't like tax nobody likes tax right okay so slurp my coffee and then i am going to show you i've got a project to show you and um a download to show you oh so last week i said about my bunny that i crocheted and here he is and <laughs> I had the weirdest reminder on my phone this morning, which said, bunny, wet wipes and chamois. It's all it said at 10 o'clock this morning when I was standing in the Asda queue. Um, so, <laughs> so, because I promised that I would show him to you. So, it's, it's so tiny, but it's very cute. But I'm not going to be doing another one anytime soon. Certainly not this small. Because, I mean, look. Look how tiny his little tail is. It's ridiculous. <laughs> but he is very lovely. Um, thank you, Janice. You like my mug? Um, yeah, they're big, big mugs. Lots of coffee. Okay, so that is the bunny. Um, what I'm going to do is rearrange my desk um, and talk about the projects. Um, the first thing that um, I'm going to show you is the Sending Sunshine download. Now, um, I did put information about this up last week. Um, it's a... a a give back product from Stamping Up. So basically, um, they are giving all of the proceeds of uh, this product to uh, two different global charities that are fighting the pandemic um, and doing research and so on. And you get to pick when you purchase it. Um, it's got 15 pages of sentiments and images um they're a lot of them are light-hearted um some of them you will use some of them you might not use um it depends where you are in the world particularly um but i wanted to show you all of the pages because you can't see them um at the when you go to purchase them and i think it's really important that you guys see what you are going to be buying um Oh, Sarah's saying she, she likes my nail colour. Thank you, Sarah. Um, this is another chameleon colour. So, but if it's kind of, it's not very changeable chameleon. So at the moment, because I'm warm, it's sort of bluey purple or purpley blue. Um, and when my hands are cold, it's a much deeper blue. 
but it's only a few shades difference so you're not going to actually see much changing today okay good morning Jeannie she's from Ontario in Canada I'm pleased you like my bunny okay right I'm just going to cover you over and rearrange my desk and tidy up so bear with me a second so well let's see let's try and turn you completely around Ooh, doesn't want to turn today right Do, do, do. Let me move the lights so I've got a bit more light shining on what I'm doing. Move that out of the way. Okay. Let's move this up so that you can see. Right. Okay. Right, so this is the the download. Um, the first one, two, the first four pages are information. I'll just uh, show you. I've only printed out the first two because the other two are in Japanese. <laughs> so that was no good to me. I couldn't read that. Um, but this. Oh, and actually, so actually, um, Diane, if you're if you're watching, um, this download is available in Chinese, in Chinese, in Japanese. Um, so um, yeah, if you're making cards, that'd be really good. Um, so basically, this uh, information, these two information sheets, are telling you what coordinating colours there are for each page and what products will work to cut them out um so um, i'm going to show you in a minute uh page four and i've used the stitched rectangle dies um so it, that's how it's it's working and you'll see that the images are either um uh, generally they're in basic black and then there are colours and it actually tells you which the colours are. Okay. So I'm going to go through these really quickly but I'll just so I'll just tell you this first one. So this one it's uh, wash your hands let's roll with it I totally share my toilet paper with you it makes me giggle. So these are like I said, they're fun and light-hearted sayings. Um, so this page, it's saying here, it's basic black, Bermuda Bay, Calypso Coral, Granny Apple Green, Mango Melody and Pool Party. So you've got your black this side and you've got the colours on this side. So I'm just going to quickly go through them. So I like this one. I can't wait to social undistance with you. And sending love, and if I could, toilet paper. Oh, and no saliva was used on this envelope. Use your aqua painter to seal up your envelopes. Um, sending joy and sunshine and no germs. This one I love. I'm actually going to be using this in a little while. Have another quarantini. It's like a normal martini, but you drink it at home alone. <laughs> yeah. And what a year this week has been. Actually, I think that is pretty much where I am this <laughs> where I am this week, and it's only Tuesday. Um, we are thinking of you, stay home, stay safe, business on the top, pyjamas on the bottom, 
I'm hearing this a lot. A lot of people are um, doing Zoom calls and things for their business, but they're still in their pyjamas, <laughs> half, half pyjamas. And I finished Netflix. Yes, anyone else thinking, <laughs> what, what am I going to watch next? And I changed out of my night pyjamas into my day pyjamas. Um, it's your birthday. Uh, let's digitally party. I really like this. You can actually chop it off and just have it. So it's your birthday. That works really well. Sending hugs from a distance. I wish this were a real hug in person. I can't wait to hug you when this is all over. So that's really cool. We're in this together. I miss your face. This is one of my favorite favorite sayings and I'm sure it's because I have kids that are 20 something um I say this to my daughter all the time sending love and paper hugs I'm going to be using that one in a minute and thank you for your service sending love and support there's no place like home this too shall pass not alone just apart See, that's really nice too and there's nobody I'd rather stay home for um, everything will be okay we just can't see what okay looks like from here and love conquers all things um, and then sort of distance and and things and share sunshine okay so that is what you get for your $12. It's a PDF, so you download it onto your computer. So there are no actual stamps, it's just a PDF. So if you have got a really snazzy computer, no, and printer, you can just put your cardstock in and print on... Um, on your printer um, and then what you can do is you can chop things out and you can cut them out so that's what I've done here this is vanilla cardstock um, and what I did is I basically chopped a bit out and then I've cut it out so remember I said earlier it would give you the information about which dies to use um, this is the stitched nested label dies. Um, that's that one actually, um, which is really cool. Um, and it's it tells me that this colour is rich raspberry, so that works works really well. So if you've got a printer that will work with cardstock, then that's great. Um, but if you don't, um, then this is something that you can do so my printer as i said earlier that was one of the things giving me stress this morning doesn't always like cardstock and it just gets grumpy with the cardstock so what i did was i cut out a piece of shimmery white card and um, I printed out just onto normal copier paper the images and you can see your cam my camera hasn't gone crazy this is all <laughs> there's like multiple images on here and what I did is I put a bit of snail on the back and stuck it down and I ran it through the big shot no I ran it through the printer like that so basically what happened was it it printed again here but it actually printed on this cardstock and I'm finding that if you do that even if your printer isn't designed to print on card it seems to work so for different shapes you could die cut them or punch them out and then stick them down um, I just stuck it down with a bit of snail that I basically patted it onto my uh, shirt just to put a bit of fluff on it so it wasn't too sticky 
and then I die cut it and it works really well. So anyone got any questions about the downloads and the share sunshine? I'll move that out of the way. Oh, and those were the stitched rectangle framelits. Okay, I'm just going to move my grid paper up a bit. Make it a bit more in shot. I'm going to move my coffee over a bit. There we go. Okay. said it was a brilliant idea we'll be trying that good <laughs> that is good okay so what I thought I would share with you today is a way oh what's the die set called which one Lynn this one is the rectangle stitched framelits dies And this one is the stitched nested label dies. And let me just um, tell you, they're both super cool because, let me get this. So, right, I'm going to stand up and put this right up close to the camera and hope that the camera will actually be able to pick it up. Hmm. Can you see there around these edges there is stitching I don't know whether it's actually oh yeah oh I had it then and then it went I'm just gonna wait and see if it, it can focus right okay I'm gonna just stay here I'm hoping you can actually see it um so when it cuts out it cuts a stitched edge around the image and then a stitched edge around where you're cutting out. So it, it's actually quite a fan, quite fancy dies there. Okay. I'll put links. Um, when the video uploads, I will put links to all the products. Um, so there'll be clickable links that you can watch back on the replay and then obviously I'm going to put this on my blog as well um, and it'll be on YouTube so you'll be able to um, see the links there. <laughs> Lynn says thanks looks like an order yes awesome okay so we talked earlier about organising craft rooms and things. Um, how many of you save all your little scraps of paper? Or you have little bits of paper like this that you don't really know what you're going to do with? Um, well, I have, I have a solution for you. Um, you need to be a little bit patient, but it's worth it. So... You need um, a piece of white or vanilla. Um, this one measures three and a half by five and a quarter because I'm going to mat and layer it. And you are randomly going to put three diagonal lines on it with pencil. So you're going to put one there, one here-ish. And one there-ish. Okay. Hi, Baz. And Ros says, yes, she's got lots of bits. Okay. So what I've done with all my bits is I have cut them down to a quarter of an inch. Um, but this technique will work with wider pieces, thinner pieces, kind of whatever you've got really, but strips. And then um, you're going to need one of two things, either a tape runner like a snail. For once, I am not going to recommend that you use Tombow. It is here. <laughs> I 
it's never very far away but we're not going to use it today um or if you've got some of those uh sticky sheets where you can put um glue over the whole of a piece of cardstock that would be really really awesome now currently stamping up don't sell them but i'm not supposed to tell you this but they're coming in the new catalog i probably am allowed to tell you but it's better if we think it's a secret so what you're going to do is take your snail or your tape runner and just run it over um, your lines and then you're just going to lay a strip over that line like that and then again over that line and over that line okay and then what we're going to do is put lots of glue. So if you've got, like I said, if you've got one of those sheets of glue, you won't have to do this with your snail. And then all I'm going to do is build up like a herringbone pattern with my scraps. Now the benefit of... Um, a stamping up paper pack is that all the colours are designed to coordinate together. So I am using uh, Best Dressed. So this is all sort of purples and greens. Ross says she needs sticky sheets. She can't get them at the moment. Yeah. So use your use a tape runner, Ross. I mean. You can use, you can use Tombow, but you're likely to get in a bit of a mess. Um, I'm always messy, a messy crafter anyway, but um, you'll get into a, a, a bigger of a mess. Um, now, I am purposely not, oh, that sheet's a bit thicker. Um, I'm purposely not trying to do this in a particular order. I'm just kind of picking them up as I go. Um, she says, repeating the pattern again. <gasps> Don't repeat the pattern. Um, but if you like repeating them, repeating the pattern, you can. So keep going and keep going. Now, for those of you that know um or do um card blanks the way i do card blanks which is i cut my a4 card stock down so i get eight inch by eleven and a half you will have little strips of card stock left over and this will work really well with those so one on now potentially you will end up with a teeny a teeny bit there look so what I do is I just snip off one of these edge bits and put snail on it and then put it in there like so and then ooh, lift it up so then all you're going to do is just trim this off. Like that. Okay. Oh, Debbie shared um, this video. Debbie, thank you very much. Um, yeah, please do share. Um, that means that we'll have more people watching and uh, can craft, craft with us. Right, so let's keep going. I do have one I've made earlier, but I thought we might be able to do this in the time. Although, as usual, I've come without a watch. So I do need to 
do need to remember to wear a watch before I start doing my Facebook Live. Right, let's put this one on. I'm doing the two big sections first. Um, it's it's just easier because you you'll end up with scraps, so the scraps can be used on the smaller sections. So has, has everybody got some scraps that they can do this with? That would be fab. I would very much like to see what you make. So you can share the things that you make here on um, on my page. I've also got a Facebook group which is Inspiring Inking Crafting Corner, um, which you can which you can share things there and honestly it is the best group it is so friendly um, everybody is really excited when someone's got stuff to share um, love it love it it's a great place to hang out um, and all different crafts are represented there so it doesn't matter what you're making or baking or renovating or <laughs> building. Um, we have everything there. So do uh, just in Facebook, it's in Facebook. So just just put it into um, the search bar and you'll find us. Um, there are uh, two questions, three questions, I think. So please do answer the questions. If you don't answer the questions, I won't let you in. That's mean, isn't it? But it's just so that everybody knows what the rules are, basically. And basically, it's be nice and share crafting stuff. And basically, nothing else. We are, we are there just for crafting. Um... So Faye says she's got shed loads of scrap, so she's happy. And <laughs> so's Debbie. Debbie's got Debbie's got some too. That's very cool. Right. I just need a tiny bit more there. So let me just snip that off. And you can see how how well it works it's it, the papers are all coordinating with one another but equally if you've got crazy crazy patterned paper it will work because you won't be able to see the whole of the pattern so i bet like me you've got some papers that actually you look at and you go hmm i don't really like that paper I don't know what I'd use it on. Well, you can use it on this and you won't actually see the pattern. Is anyone else mesmerised? Oh, Sue, that's such a lovely thing to say. It always worries me that when I'm busy here crafting that you might all nod off. <laughs> it's like... That's why I keep jibber jabbering because I'm thinking, don't go to sleep. Oh, thanks, Amanda. She says it's gorgeous. Oh, that's really cool. That's making my day, that is. Right. Get on. A little bit more to go. Da da da. Which pattern? No, I'll just use that one. Use that one. A 
matchworking friend. Oh yeah, Chris, that would be awesome. That would be really good. Okay, look, we're done. Ta -da -da. Right, so you can see I've got a bit of liftage here. So just go in and put an extra bit of glue. Like I said, it won't, if you've got one of those amazing gluey sheets, it won't lift at all. Um, but just go back over it with a tiny bit of Tombow or Snail. Um, right, so let's get this matted and layered. I'm going to finish off the card. <laughs> there you go, you see? You knew the Tombow wouldn't be far away. <laughs> I don't know that I can actually make a card without Tombow. Look at that old olive, that just makes it really pop. And uh, for those of you that are wondering, this is old olive. And this is nearly a dead Tombow. <gasps> it's a good job. I've got a mountain of Tombow coming. Okay, so that is going there. need an inside layer and I'm just gonna I'm gonna have to use a snail because basically that tombow is nearly dead so I'm just gonna put a little bit there Ross says she's running out of Tombow. She's used five since lockdown. It is it is in stock, Ross, um, so you can get it. Um, but I will actually have some. So if you are passing on one of your essential trips, I can I can arrange a uh, a contactless doorstop delivery. Right, okay, so the inside is done. I have got this really pretty sentiment. And we're just gonna do a little bit of stuff. So, I don't know if, if you guys have seen these. We had um, a few items that were released early. Um, and these gilded rhinestones were included and they're so cool. I love a bit of sparkle. Um, I'm just going to put a bigger one on. Let's put a little one on there. So I'm just going to sort out my butterflies. We'll finish this card off. So, um, could you guys give me a time check? Let me know what time it is. Um, I want to show you some. Well, I want to show you a slightly different version. Um, so we can see. Belinda says that she's inspired to make one of these, but she's got another project going. Yeah. Oh, right. Michelle says it's... I've got, I've got three, three... Yeah. <laughs> I've got three minutes. Right. No, seven minutes because it's ten to three. So, okay, I'm just going to put my butterfly just here and then my little diddly one up here. So there's there's the the finished card. Faye wants a close up of the rhinestones. Hopefully you can see that. Okay. So I am going to show you the other card very quickly. <laughs> I'm just seeing how that kind of worked. It's 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 not ideal. They they are quite 3D. 
Um, so I am going to show you the, this other this other card. So I showed you the. I'll leave that one just there. Um, so I printed that out, um, and I printed it onto shimmery white card. And I just wanted to show you that um, if you've got like a normal ink, water-based ink, you can use your blends. Um, so I'm just going to colour in the olives. Um, yeah, so you can use your blends and it won't bleed. So I hadn't, I hadn't realised that. So that works. So I have a, another variation here. Here's one I made earlier in Best Blue Peter style. So this is using the Paris patterned paper. <laughs> I would really like to tell you what it's called. Hopefully Sally or Michelle still here and they can tell you. Um, And so obviously, so this one is done exactly the same, just with uh, different papers. Ooh. And then we'll just get there. This one on here. Parisian Blossoms. Thanks, Sally. Thanks, Baz. I should have it written down, shouldn't I, really? Um, so I'm just going to pop that there. Have another quarantini. And then I'm just going to put this on the inside. dimensional backings and so on so yeah so um chris is saying it works well with the sheen yes this is um champagne foiling and it just picks it up really beautifully not all of the papers have got the foiling on just some of them um but there you go so there's two fairly different cards actually but using this the same herringbone technique um all you need to do is draw some lines on your piece of card stock um, and then get get busy with your scraps. I would love to see the things that you've made. Either post them here on my Facebook page um, or join us at the Inspiring Ink in Crafting Corner and um, share, share what you've made there. Um, thank you so much for joining me. Enjoy the rest of your week um, and I will see you at two o'clock next Tuesday. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.